Hello Aries, Elsie here to do your reading. It is for the week ahead, my friends. Happy Wednesday and welcome to Fire Day. I hope you're well. Thanks Aries for clicking here. If you're brand new and you just walked in, you just tripped over Ten of Cups Tarot, welcome here. I hope you'll decide to stay. And if you do, the subscription button is over there. And uh, if you hit the bell button, you'll know when I'm uploading. Um, and uh, usually I stay on schedule unless something's going a little wackadoo in my life. But uh, thank you so much for clicking here. If you are the ride or die and you're always in the comments and the thumbs up and sharing, subscribing, all the ways that you love on me. Thank you so much, Aries. I'm doing a lot of bonus reads for you, which I'm super excited about. Thank you so much for all of the attention on my videos. So this week is going to be a reading for the week ahead, as they always are. And uh, the week ahead could be whenever you find it. Could be today, tomorrow. <laughs> it could be a year from now. But these are general readings. Please keep that in mind, Aries, as we look into what is coming up for you in the week ahead. Now, as I drop these cards, uh, I am reading for the last week of May. The week ahead is the last week of May. We just burned right through May, just like that, Aries. <laughs> just quick like that. All right, tell me what's coming up for Aries, please. We're going to start out with some oracles, the wisdom of the wisdom of the oracle. We're going to use some uh, divine uh, goddess oracles as well. We're going to throw some tarot into it and use tarot to clarify. Let's find out what's going on for you in the week ahead, Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about my Aries fire tribe, please. Tell me about Aries. got blessed. We've got the never-ending story, Aries, and by the book. Bottom of the deck, we have the fates. It looks like something faded is coming up for you. We have card number 17, and um, 17 is the star, right? We have 16 in the tarot is the tower, and then 17 is the star. I feel like you've been through tower, possibly, or maybe it will be in the week ahead. We'll clarify here and find out what's going on. But the fates here, it's like something you don't see coming, right? You can see this person's eyes are covered. Card number 17, 1 and 7 does break down to an 8, and that's how I know it's about you. Eight is about the self. It's about uh, the intervention of the universe, right? Eight, when you lay it on its side, is also um, infinity, right? And so I feel like there is something coming up that is faded for you, my friend. Well, maybe we'll just put that right here so we can keep it in mind. All right. Who got this? The same spot. Um, it may have been Taurus. I could be wrong. But if you have anything to do with that sign, you might just want to take a look back there quickly. Um, there is a never-ending story here. So first of all, we're going to go with this. It says we have blessed. I feel like the universe is reminding you of how blessed you are, Aries. Um, I feel like you, you are someone who is right now feeling like things are in balance which can be a really great place to be, but it also can be terrifying if you're not used to balance. We got card number 22. You could be uh, seeing twos as um, a, a synchronicity, but we do have blessed, and this is uh, mostly uh, purple, deep purple, which is the third eye. I want to say that maybe you're, you, you have gotten over the point of shock where you're seeing things for what they are, and you really do get to a point where you feel very blessed for being able to see things exactly as they are, and then you can make decisions going forward that are the clearest and most balanced decisions for you. We do have the never-ending story, and I want to say that there is something that is unfinished. It's like unfinished business or uh, something that you can't stop thinking about. I want to say you've got this person with their hand on their head, right? She's got a mirror there that she doesn't want to look into, but we do have, um, she's sitting on a sand timer, right? And we do uh, have a heart here that's ready to go through the sand timer, which tells me it's almost time for something to begin again. And I'm saying that because it's card number 37, which is a 10. And when you break a 10 down and you take away the zero, it's a one, right? It's a uh, <clears throat> the beginning of something. So I want to say that the never-ending story was, it's like you were you were experiencing a comma, not a period. You were experiencing a pause. And just because things were quiet or because nothing was being said or maybe there's silence between two, not, it's not that it's over. It never was over. So if you think it's over, Aries, I don't think that it is. So we've got by the book. <clears throat> Pardon me. By the book is card number 11, which of course breaks down to a two, which again is balance. I want to say by the book that you're a person who's very structured in your life, that you're somebody who is... Um, possibly following the leader. And I don't mean that in a derogatory sense. I mean, like, you don't reinvent the wheel. If you're going to do something, anything, you find the place or the person or the thing or the situation that's having success and you copy that model. So I feel like by the book tells me that you're very much about details, going over things. But I also want to say that you're the leader in your life, of course. And I feel like you have other people 
following you and they could be little people they could be children possibly doesn't have to be so i feel like that there is a, a never-ending story here and i want to say that you can't stop thinking about it it does look like she's in a you know, a lot of confusion here or feeling sad, feeling like something is over. But what she doesn't realize is it's not over. It's just about to begin because the fates are here. We do have co-create. You are about to, I feel, come together with someone who wants to co-create with you in the 3D. This is all energy that is earth energy for me. We also have a bird on a wire here. And, um, uh, the bird on the wire is actually an owl. So I want to say that there's like a tight rope you've been walking. And I want to say that it's about to transform. Something is about to be born. But I want to say that there are changes in the wind. And, and the changes in the wind are, I feel like you're coming together with someone who will um, co-create with you. Because it's a faded thing. So I don't know what that means, really. Because it can mean something different to everybody. Co-creation could, could mean um, being in a relationship. It could mean a business deal. Um, could mean many things, right? Let's look at some tarot here. Um, if you want a private reading, Aries, please look below this video. I've pinned a comment to the top of the comments area there that gives you all the information you need to uh, book me at Wizio. It's the only place you can book me, by the way. All right. Here we go. Tell me about Aries. Uh, how is Aries blessed? What do you want Aries to know? We've got the Eight of Wands. So I feel like you've been blessed with, um, with the third eye being open. And I think now that the third eye is open, I feel like things can begin to move forward again. It almost feels like you may have been stuck in a place where maybe you felt blind, um, knowing that you had blessings coming anyway. But I feel like the blessings are now starting to roll in, or if they're not, they will begin rolling in in the week ahead, I feel. We do have the Eight of Wands, which tells me that things are about to speed up. Things are about to get um, a little more exciting. Sad Sagittarian energy, right? Sagittarius will will change the shift the energy in a room like that. <laughs> and so wherever that comes up in the sun or the rising, Sagittarius is there. They're going to shift the energy in a room. Things are about to get happier and more exciting as you move forward here. Tell me about this never-ending story for Aries, please. We do have the death card. So I want to say something, Aries, and that is that, um, that we never end, right? Things never end. They only transform. And so I want to say for, for those of you who have maybe lost lost somebody, that I'm sorry for you having lost somebody. But I, I want to say that um, the never ending story is telling me that please know that that their energy is never ending. It's always going to be around you. It's always going to be part of you because we're all part of the stardust. We're all part of the stars and the moon and the universe. And so are they. So you're always going to feel them. Now, that's only for a small portion of you, of course. For others of you, I feel like something is about to transform here. Something that you felt was over, that you thought it was the end. But I want to say with card number 37 that breaks down to a 10, which breaks down to a 1, it's the beginning of something. And the only time that death shows up the only time that death shows up is when something is ending and only ever for the purpose of something else to begin. Now, it may not be in your own life. Understand that for those of you who have lost a loved one, and this is already in the past, by the way, I'm not predicting you're going to lose a loved one. If somebody has lost a loved one, the only time that things end is so something else can begin. And so I feel that maybe you didn't see the thing that began. Maybe it began with another family or another person. Maybe your person decided to reincarnate and it ended up being another child for somebody else. But I, I want to say that the energy never never dies. It never does. But I feel for some of you, Aries, it feels like there is something that you think is over that came to an end. But the only reason that things end is so they can transform because energy never dies. It never goes away. So I want to say something is transforming whilst you think it's over. Tell me what buy the book means, please. Give me some more information about buy the book. We've got uh, two of cups, very interesting energy. Something's ending, so something is beginning. And I want to say for those of you who this is love that is beginning for you, because it won't be all of you, for whoever this is, something ending here so something can begin, it feels like you're doing it by the book. And what I want to say is you're the OG, you're old school. You're old school as it pertains to love. You're the one that opens car doors. You're the one who walks on you know, the side of the road when you're walking on the sidewalk with, with your person. Like I feel like you're the the person who is still into grand displays of affection and bringing flowers and you know things like that like it feels like you are the the OG I want to say someone who celebrates love by the book 
Like it feels like for you, it's very necessary to do it in very incremented steps um, in order to grow it, grow it into something solid. In order for someone to want to follow you, you got to be the leader, right? So I feel like that's what's going on here. I feel like you are about to go by the book. Um, there's something faded that's coming up here. Look at this. We've got the sun on the bottom of the deck. You've had some sort of a realization, my friend. I feel like you've grown or changed. Transformation is here. And I feel like you've you you have transformed into something different than you used to be or someone different than you used to be, whether that's on the outside or the inside. It feels like somebody here has had a breakthrough in their growth. So I want to say spiritual, professional, you know, your career, your home, your life, whatever it is. You've had some type of a breakthrough which has allowed you to... Yeah, I'm just seeing uh, Charlie is showing me a, a seed that's coming up through the and it's like it breaks through the surface, right? And that's how we know that it's it's going to continue to grow. All we got to do from there is nurture it. So I feel like you have busted through the soil, I want to say, and it's time for the nurturing now. It's time for the sun to help you grow because nothing hides from the sun. You're going to get great clarity about something here, about something that's faded, and we'll talk about that after. Um, but I feel like something here is growing or has been growing and you don't know that it has been growing. Very mysterious, just like you. Let's find out what's going on for Aries, please. Tell me more about Aries. We've got embrace, we've got passions, and we have acceptance. I do have the windows open, Aries, so you will hear some street noise, maybe some people, things like that. If you hear sirens, don't panic. They're not coming to get you. <laughs> They might be coming to get me. <laughs> so we have expansion. We have pursue bigger and greater endeavors. Okay, so you're about to expand. And I feel like the reason why you feel safe expanding is because the sun is here. But look at that. If you are the emperor, there is your empress. I feel like it's just around the corner. I feel like it's been an arduous, long, exhaustive journey. But I feel like you're you're going to, in the week ahead, feel inspired. Because the king of wands never moves anywhere unless they're very inspired to do so. And when they are, nothing will stop them from getting what they want, except certain death, right? So... I feel like um, the nine of wands and the one in the hand of the king is telling me that somebody here has dropped some burdens. That they've, you've been waiting a really long time to do something. Maybe you've been waiting a really long time for the empress. But it feels like here that there is some sort of a realization or... Um, a sudden breakthrough that you're realizing about the Empress here. So we do have embrace, and I want to say that you're supposed to embrace this energy. The Embracing the energy of being able to, you know, with the violet energy, right? The violet energy is the third eye, and I feel like whatever you see, you now understand it. It does bring balance and stability to your life. I think that you would rather see things as they are. Now things are about to pick up here, and it says embrace it. It says find peace with your current state of being. So I feel like that's how things start to move forward quickly, is when you find some um some semblance of balance or stability or in your current state of being. So we do have the never-ending story. It says, passions, don't be afraid to fail. Follow what makes your heart happy. Aries, are you going to get somebody? That's what it feels like here. It feels like somebody is, is realizing with the sun, the realization is, is that passion never dies. It only transforms. And so something that you think is over, Aries, is not over. I feel like it's only just beginning. And then we have acceptance. I like it. Acceptance says, accept past and current situations. Work through issues gracefully. So the one thing that we can do, all of us can do, in order to move forward when we feel stuck, is a radical acceptance of the present moment. Accepting that you're at that weight. Accepting that maybe your health isn't that great. Accepting that maybe you're going to be single for a while. Accepting the situation for what it is. Accepting the job that you have is the one that you took and that you have all the power to move on and move to another job. It's accepting where you are and what's going on right now before you can move forward. I feel like the acceptance that you're going through is that you're going to have to go by the book. That's what it says here, by the book, right? You're going to have to go by the book. I feel like you're going to have to go slowly. You're going to have to go over a lot of the details. Uh, we have card number 11. I want to say the acceptance for some of you might be the acceptance of synchronicity. And so maybe some of you are not aware of the acceptance of synchronicity. I just want to say we've got synchronicity right here. We have number 11, which breaks down to a two. And we have the two cups 
right? So we do have synchronicities here in your reading already. So I feel like the acceptance is that the synchronicities are trying to tell you something. So don't ignore them. They are messages from the universe. And I feel like you're trying to be, be I think the universe is trying to flag you, <laughs> is what I think. The universe is trying to, trying to, hey, Aries, wake up. <laughs> by sending you and I don't think it's like you're I don't think you're seeing the synchronicities um here and there I think that they're pelting you I want to say I feel like they are pelting you here all right look the other synchronicity that we have here is that one and nine is ten right and then we have here three and seven is ten so we have ten ten as well and so it does feel like um I want to say that maybe you're at the end of cycles or whatever the synchronicity 1010 is. Maybe you've been seeing the synchronicity of 1010 on the clock, on a tag, on a restaurant receipt, whatever it is. Tell me more about um, uh, Aries, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Aries. Aries, we have the Chariot, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. So that is all coming up on embracing change, right? Embracing that things are going to go forward quickly from here. You're supposed to find your peace uh, with the current situation and your current being, I feel, because it's the calm before the storm. That's what it feels like. It feels like things are balanced. You're in a state of, card number 22 is a four, you're in a state of stability. And it feels like um, now you see everything for what it is, and now we can move things forward. We do have the chariot, which is the fastest moving energy in the tarot, right? It is cancer energy. We have the knight of pentacles, which is Virgo energy. And we have the queen of pentacles, which is Capricorn. Of course, in this general reading, it is Virgo, uh, Capricorn and Taurus. So it does feel like you are about to get in your vehicle and go somewhere. I feel like you're traveling over land. But first, I want to say that this particular embrace, I feel, is the brace, embrace of stability of your masculine and feminine energies. Because the reason that this chariot stays on the road is because of the these two being opposites that they keep balance when when this person when this sphinx keeps balance here and this sphinx keeps balance here they balance each other out and so they're in essentially going the same way or doing the same thing because they because balance means one thing to all people there's no variations of balance we all know what it means to be in balance or out of balance i think you're supposed to embrace that embrace the balance and i think that I feel like um, the Knight of Pentacles is telling me that even though things are about to speed up, there's no reason why you can't stop to look at what it is that's going on. Going over the details, being very patient, or maybe you've been very patient up to here, but I feel like you have um, a, a pentacle in your hand here, and it does feel like it is an opportunity for something. It might be an opportunity for someone who is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. We've got Taurus energy there. So it might be someone who is... Um, who is um, very stable and solid and sturdy, I feel. I feel like you might be taking an opportunity to this person. This person is someone who really doesn't require your opportunity, I'm going to say, and so that can be a little bit intimidating in itself. But this person does not require you for their balance. They don't require you in order to make money or be solid or grounded. This person is the overgiver, right? They are the one practicing to be the empress, and that's why I pointed at her. She's the one that is, that is, is, is walking through her life in a way where she's acting as though she's already received it and that's how you manifest and so this is a person who is manifesting settling down solid and sturdy ground going really slow looking over the details i feel like this is somebody who might be of interest to you since we're having all sorts of synchronicities here in this reading tell me about passions please tell me about the death card and um the never-ending story. I feel like you've never stopped feeling something for the Empress. Feels that way to me. And I don't care what your situation is. You might be married. You might be living with somebody, engaged. It doesn't matter. I feel like you've always had these feelings for the Empress. We do have the uh, Two of Wands in the reverse. What else do we have, please? We have the King of Swords in the reverse. The whole deck is in the reverse. Well, just turn that up, right? And what else do we have here, please? One more. We've got the Six of Wands. So I want to say with the Two of Wands in the reverse, it tells me that um, it feels as though you stopped preparing or that it's like uh, you've, you've prepared as much as you can because the Knight of Pentacles is here. You've already gone over everything. 
a thousand times. Everything that you're going to say, everything that you're going to do, how you're going to approach, I feel like you've already gone over it in your head like obsessively over and over again. We do have the King of Swords in the reverse. I feel like the reason you haven't spoken up yet or spoken out is because you don't know what to say. It feels like you don't have many facts. Like you don't really know, um, you don't really, you know that that things have stopped, that it's silent, but you don't really know that it's a never-ending story. I'm going to say that you're thinking about saying something because you think it's over. You're thinking about breaking the silence here with somebody, but you don't know what to say with the King of Swords in the reverse, and you don't want to say the wrong thing because the King of Swords in the reverse can be someone who is who can come off as kind of being unfeeling or aloof or detached or ornery, right? So I feel like you, you don't want to do that, um, be, and I'm only saying that because the Six of Wands is here. I feel like you've been through enough. I want to say it feels like with the six of wands being here, it's not only um, telling me that you're just about to get the thing that you want, whatever it is that you want, Aries, I feel like you're you're going to be able to reach out and grab it because it never ended. It's still waiting for you here. And, and that's the thing about our manifestations, right? Sometimes we're like, Elsie, where's my manifestation? Well, it's right there. Do you see it? No. If not, then you need more lessons to be able to clear the third eye in order to be able to see what's going on. So the six of wands is about, you know, seeing things from a higher level right? It's, a, it's about um, people cheering you on, yeah, coming to some sort of a finish line or ready to step over the finish line to um, this person is, has been through a lot, right? This is a victory after the fight. Someone has come from war, come from fight. And um, this person is now going to get some sort of a, a victory here. Um, and I feel like the victory is, is that you're going to learn that it actually was never over. It only transformed. Tell me about acceptance here for Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell you what, Aries, you keep hooking me into this energy. I keep reading. <laughs> I've been trying to shorten up the readings a little bit because you guys don't watch all of the readings. So, um, But I'm telling you, when I get in your energy, I don't want to get out. Okay, so we have the King of Cups, we have the Knight of Cups, and we have the Fool. I really do believe that love is about to begin again for you, I want to say. And I do really strongly believe that it's with the Empress. So some of you are the Emperor, some of you are not. The Emperor is a very, uh, it's it's got a criteria, right? It's The Emperor is somebody who is a... Uh, who is a business owner or who is the president, the vice president, or somebody who is the conqueror, the one who runs the empire, right? Um, which means they run all the kingdoms and the kings and queens report to them. So you're someone who like is a business owner or something like that. Um, it feels like with the king of cups here that you have a really deep romantic love for somebody here and you're ready to take some sort of a leap of faith but first you must have an acceptance right it says here accept past and current situations work through issues gracefully so if there is an issue because i feel like we're talking about two people who are in silence with each other it does feel like you want to take a leap of faith i feel like you need to wait for the breakthrough that's coming up in the future about the empress tell me about uh the give me an outcome please a possible outcome for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We have the Four of Wands, we have the Page of Pentacles, and we have the Page of Cups. So I do believe that there is something, an expansion that is coming here. It is going to give you a lot of balance here, my friend. I feel as though this energy here that's in the middle with this Two of Wands in the reverse, because when the Two, for me, the Two of Wands in the reverse, it's like, I'm just going to bite the bullet and go. I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just going to get in my car and go. It feels like you need to make a decision because I feel like you want to see somebody face to face. And I feel like it's you're going to surprise them and and I feel like you will surprise yourself, I think. It feels as though there is something new that is beginning here. This does feel like new love. This does not feel like someone you've ever dated before. You already know this person. You've known them for a while, it feels like. It's faded, though. You two, whenever you cross paths, if you can think back, whenever if the person that who is who is the empress here, feminine or masculine, I feel like this person is somebody that you've crossed paths with before, somebody that you already know, but this is not someone that you dated. I feel like this is brand new love because the Page of Cups is here, along with the Two of Cups. It does feel like you are about to go get the Empress. Um, the Four of Wands here feels like you want to talk to the Empress face to face about the Four of Wands, getting some stability, happiness, celebration. Um, let's see if we can carry on because I feel like you. Still Still have feelings at least affection for this person if not love it feels like it goes from the page of cups to the two of cups to the king of cups and so it feels like there is a psychic connection between you and the empress because she also is the queen of cups i feel like you are going to get some sort of karmic justice my friend and yeah this is somebody that you've known for a while look at this energy on the bottom of the deck this is the future energy for me it's a realization that you found it all you found everything the ten pentacles the long-lasting abundant, beautiful family 
everything, all of it. And that is your karmic justice, my friend. For whatever reason, the universe is rewarding you with some sort of faded breakthrough with the Empress. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for being here, Aries. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for all that you do and the ways that you love me. I'm out for now. Bye-bye.